In this video, we're going to show you how to install coilovers on a Mark III Supra JZA70. Yeah, yeah, all right, awesome. So, what we first did was um, we just removed the plastic speaker covers from the rear, which are these thingies, they just come out with one screw. Pull those out, and uh, that gives you access to the top of the shocks. And we're just going to remove the uh, three welts on either side. Remove the strut brace if you got one, and then uh, that'll just be the shock all loose. Now put the bolts back in, or the nuts back in, sorry, um, and we'll just uh, work in the bottom half. And uh, then when we finally want to take it out, we'll just lose them all and pull it out. The coilovers we're using today are BC Racing Type BR. Uh, they're full adjustable um, base height, so you can see you can adjust just the to adjust the height on these you just undo this lock nut here and you can just move the base up or down you're not actually going to change any of the spring um, preload settings when you change the height on these so if you're looking for coilovers get the ones that are base height adjustable don't get ones that are just um, height adjustable because uh, when you adjust the height on those ones you'll compress the spring and uh, it makes the ride really crappy um, when you want a low ride you don't want it to have it just you know really really hard and stuff whereas with these ones you can you can adjust that. Um, then you can adjust the spring preload separately, so you can adjust it really, really springy or or really hard or whatever you want. They also got damper settings on the top. I think it's 30-way adjustable damper. Um, so that just uh, if you put it all up to 30, then it'll be really, really solid, basically no suspension at all. Or if you put it on uh, one or zero, um, it'll be pretty nice, pretty soft. Um, compared to a normal car, it'll be bloody hard, but um, if you put it on 30 and then you put it on 1, you, you'll like 1. Um, so yeah, basically these just go on with um, 3 nuts, and then on the bottom it's just secured on with 1 bolt. So the rears are really easy, the fronts are a little bit more complicated, and um, when we get to the fronts we will, uh, we will show you how hard it is. Okay, now these uh, top nuts can actually be... Um, really stuck on there. Um, if you don't have aftermarket suspension, which is kind of odd for this sort of car, um, then they'll be like really hard to get off if they're just a standard. Um, so what you can do is you can get this stuff called Loctite Freeze and Release. And um, yeah, you just spray that on and uh, that'll that'll pretty much make it come off, I reckon. Um, you don't really want to use an Oxy on this, obviously. It's uh, not really what you want to do in your car. Um, so yeah, that freeze and release stuff should work. Other than that, uh, if you can't, well, uh, chisel and uh, chisel the nuts. If you don't want to do that either, you can get a Dremel and uh, cut the nut. But that's the last resort. You don't really want to use anything that has sparks inside your car. So yeah, that's, that's about it. Jack it up. Axle stands. <laughs> Look at this monster truck height. I could fit one or oh. two shoes. <laughs> ah, that's terrible. Time for coilers. Wheel off. Undo this. Do it. Just before you take the uh, bolt out, put a jack under your swing arm so it doesn't drop down. Alrighty, one shock is out. Now, this requires two people, and that's your fully tank and awesome. <laughs> okay, so basically what you have to do is um, once you've taken the bottom nut off, get a mate to uh, push down on this as hard as you can. Get the top out, so you just wiggle it. And what I did was just twisted the shock sideways. Um, twist it and keep on twisting it and pushing it down until the top is free. And then once the top is free, you can um, pull it. How uh, explain this? Pull it down, and then when you get the top into this sort of area, um, you can pull the top while your friend's still pushing down if his legs are super strong. Um, pull the shock this way from the 
So the top of the shock um, is out here, and then you pull it out that way. So um, you pull the shock out through that and out. Pretty uh, uh, confusing, but um, yeah, basically you just have to get your friend to push down this as hard as he can with his foot, pull and then you can the pull it way. out the top way. And yeah, out and about. Out she comes, like, easy as that. Alrighty, um, now that it's out, good time to inspect all your bushings. Um, might not have time to, uh, you know, buy your bushings and replace them now, but uh, it's something you can realise for the future. So you check your um, CV boots, and then all the things like these. See, this one is all frayed. Um, top one in here is also gone, so basically the, the rear end is um, a bit in need of a bushing kit. Um, but that's for another day. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. Time for coin of us. Yeah. Old versus new. Now you can see with coilovers, when you buy them straight out of the box, they're going to be um, about two inches lower. Um, now you can adjust these, but it's not recommended that you go too high up. You still want uh, quite a lot of the thread inside the base. So when you get them, they're usually at a um, recommended height. Um, they're already preset. So as you can see, you can go very, very, very low with these. Um, but when we put these in, this will probably be a pretty good height. Um, now, as you can see, the whole unit is a lot smaller. Um, so we shouldn't need to do the whole pressing down thing. We should just be able to slip these ones in. But if not, you, know, you can just get your friend again to help. Now, it doesn't really matter which one goes where. But we want the uh, nice BC uh, label sticking out. As you can see, it's clamped in this way. So this one we'll put on the right side because once we put it in, the layer will be facing outwards. Awesome. Mmm, more coil levers. Ew, stop. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. So, what you have to do, yeah, I just put these in myself. It's pretty freaking easy. Um, you can just get your mate to put the nuts on. Um, so. Now we got the shock in there, they're not tight or anything, because you want it sort of loose. So, what we're going to do now, is um, basically we're just going to jack up the bottom into its hole. So we're just going to put the jack under the bottom, and jack it up until it's um, all lined up, and then just whack the bolt in, and do it up. Now you want to put some uh, any these grease on these bolts, um, well you don't have to, but you know, it just makes it easier for next time, if you need to take them off, say going to the pits, something like that. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do it up nice and tight, and uh, we'll start on the next one. Seek. So we just got the jack underneath, and we're just jacking up until the hole is aligned. Oh yeah. Can you see it twisting its way through? Oh, I can. Is it good? It looks so good. <laughs> Voila! Oh yeah! Diva, diva. Now put that nut on and start on the other side. Was there a Yo. one? How many shoes now? Let's find out. Oh, look at that. She tight too. Must be a nun. One shoe. And that's jacked up guys, so it will compress and it will be hopefully zero shoes. Maybe a thong. Just like mine. More. One shoe. Oh yeah. Quite for the win. Wheels are on the ground. Oh yeah. So guys, that is how to put on uh, rear coilovers on a Supra. So now for the front, eh? Let's do it. <laughs> 